Do you believe that human potential is unlimited? And if so, how much of that potential do we actually use when we're alive? I was 18 years old when um, my best friend, he passed away uh, in an accident, so he got in a motorbike accident. The next few weeks or months I spent, you know, trying to process, my, I spent my time trying to process what had happened. Why did it happen? I spent my time trying to accept this new reality that was, I was facing. Uh, but at the same time, I was also thinking and contemplating about the hopes and dreams that he had left behind. Uh, I, was, I was thinking about the potential, the gifts that he had uh, yet to discover. Because I truly believe that human potential is nearly unlimited. And I believe we have gifts, talents, abilities, whatever you want to call it, uh, that we have yet to discover, yet to tap into. I was heartbroken to know that so many of us die with our gifts and potential and abilities still in us. The first gift that we have, I like to call it innate. So innate gifts are our natural gifts and potential that we have, uh, that we're born with. Every single one of you sitting here, right here, you have access to that gift. Uh, and there's so many of them that you may or may not be aware of, that you may or may not believe um, just to give you one example, the thing that's sitting right here inside your head is called human brain. It's one of the most powerful, powerful machines in the world. It is more powerful than the most powerful supercomputers that exist today. They say that we use less than 10% of our brain's capacity. Now, I don't know how much of that is true, but what I do know is we've only been able to scratch the surface of that brain's capacity, and there's so much more to go. The second gift that I'll talk about is experiential gift. Now what is experiential gift? These are gifts that you acquire throughout, our, throughout your lifetime. Uh, there are good experiences, there are not so good experiences, but they're all gifts. Uh, the good ones, the positive ones are very obvious, isn't it? These are moments that you spend with your loved ones. Um, these are moments that you, know, you go on a amazing holiday, an adventure, uh, that moment when you uh, help someone and they look back at you with this smile of gratitude. It's that moment you know, that you spend with a friend having a really nice conversation. These are really beautiful, beautiful experiences that is a gift uh, throughout your life. But here's a tricky part, the challenging bit, which is the negative The negative experiences, listen to this carefully. Life is nothing but a series of experiences. Would you agree with me? And also, life is the sum total of all our experiences. Is that fair to say? And if life is the sum total of all our experiences, then that means the quality of our life is directly proportionate to the quality of our experiences. Yes? Yes. Okay. So positive experiences is very obvious, isn't it? You have a good time, but the negative experiences, the pain you go through, the sorrow, the disappointment, the regrets. Uh, Razu and Babika, they talked about failure and rejection. These are all negative experiences. Um, how many of you here had bad experiences in the past? Show, show your hands. Be honest with yourself. Negative experiences, yes? And how many of you still feel bad about those experiences? A lot of us. Good. But is there a way to look at those same experiences in a completely different way? Just change the way you look at it. Just reframe it. Put it into a different perspective. Of course it's possible and there is a way. Often in life, the most valuable experiences come from pain and sorrow. Um, Lisa Nichols, she's also a speaker. I like the way she puts it. She says, um, some gift comes wrapped in sandpaper. Outside it's rough and hard, it's painful, but as you gradually open inside, you'll find what a beautiful gift it was. Can you think of an experience in your own life, a negative experience, but that's, that helped you, pushed you to grow? Show of hands. And can you think of a negative experience later on in life you found out what a beautiful gift it was, and you learned so much from that experience, yes? I believe your greatest pain 
can become your greatest gift. And I believe that your biggest problem gives you the biggest lesson. It's true. And with every obstacle comes an equal opportunity. And I believe that your breakdown can become your breakthrough that will launch you up to the stratosphere. Now, innate gifts, everyone has equal access to it. Experiential gift, it's different. It varies depending on uh, whether you're able to learn lessons from your experiences or whether you're able to turn that around. But the legacy, the personal calling, everyone, every single, single one of you has one. Every one of you here has a gift to share. Every one of you here has a personal calling that is as unique as your fingerprint. It's very, very unique. And those gifts could be anything. It could be inspiring million pe people through writing a book, uh, singing, touching people live, uh, helping people, uh, starting a charity. It could be anything. So I believe deep down in us, every single one of us has that special gift. Uh, and, but having a gift is, is not enough. Having a potential is not enough. Having the potential is not the same as doing something about it. You have to use it. You have to execute it. And mainly, you have to share it. I believe that the richest place on earth is the land of living. And this is where you have over 7 billion different uh, gifts, seven, over 7 billion different uh, new ideas and hopes and dreams and potential. There are millions of books that will be written in coming years. There will be millions of songs that will be coming up in the coming years. There will be inv new inventions that will be discovered, new cures that will be shared. There will be stories that will be told. And I believe that each one of you has that story to share. It's time. It's time you wake up, stand up, and step up. It's time you go on that personal journey of discovering your own gifts. It's time you live full and die empty. And on that note, I would like to hand the mic over to our host, Kobe. Thank you.